up, Battles? Anubis here. I'm back at you playing a little bit more Arc Survival Evolved. We're back on the Underworld server, guys. Getting some more things done. Uh, where did we leave off last? I think that we were helping the North uh, recover some of his equipment from a prank mishap. Uh, so we went and took care of that in the last episode and helped him out a little bit, got some of his equipment back. I don't know what all I showed you guys that we have gotten done. So I've gotten uh, some vaults in here, and I think I showed this to you. I'm not sure. We've got some fridges. I think I showed all that to you. And then what I've done is I've kind of opened up the back area back here of the building just to give it a little bit more room, and that's kind of what we're going to finish right now. I've also finished one of these towers. Let me know what you guys think. You know, it's got the kind of upside down spiky things. That's from the corrected structures. I don't know how I feel about it. I may just go with, like, instead of them facing downwards, I may them may do them right up top here on the corner. Uh, the towers right now, they serve no purpose. Uh, they just, you know, get the build, building a little bit more character. Um, but let me know what you guys think about that. And, uh... I'll change it up if we really need to. I'm not in love with it, so if you guys aren't in love with it, I definitely could definitely understand that. Anyway, let's see if we can finish this up. I'm not really sure exactly how I want to do this. Um, I think what I want to do is... Let's see if maybe I can intersect these roots. Okay. So we're going to have to go this side first. That's that first. Then this side, okay. Um, and then we would put hmm let's see here. If I put another, I just go like this, and I go like that. Uh, that might that might look okay. I think we'll go over here. We'll do the same thing. So I think we need one right there, and then we'll just turn right there. This, oh, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to make another one of those. This, we may definitely change up. I'm not, I mean, it kind of, it looks okay, but I don't think it looks great. So let's see here. We'll go like that. I think I did this side first uh, the last time, so it's probably going to be the other side. That's usually how it works for me. Whenever I'm trying to do, yeah. Whenever I'm trying to do these intersecting roofs. It's not always the same way, but you can usually you can usually bet that if you like how I did it on this side, going this way back the opposite direction is probably not going to be the same way. Uh, you just do it opposite, and that's just how it works. But it will work, as you can see. And I actually have some walls. Put that there, and this already has one. Put that there. Okay. And then we'll call a Nexian down if we can get the Nexian down here. Yeah, okay. Come on. Oh, a little bit too far. You're too quick. Oh. You're too quick for me. I'm just a slow human. Come on. There you go. That kind of stuff, but I can work a job. Okay. So, right. so how does that look? I kind of want it to intersect in um, both places. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure that would be possible. Yeah, I think it looks, it looks okay for now. Uh, let's see here. If 
I think one of the things I don't have is just the regular ceilings, and we'll probably just go over here and we'll use the correct structure ceilings. Oh, I forgot to. So let's see here, structure. I put all this, all this stone away. Wood fiber. Well, I can just go in here. Um, so what do we need? We need just the regular ceilings, right? Yep. Ten of them. Ten of them will probably be enough. I'm not. Oh, we actually have. Looks like somebody was crafting a few, so we'll just take, take a few of these. Then we're already crafting. So I took ten, um, and then I crafted ten. So no big deal. Oh, over after he got scared. No big deal. Uh, where did there? No. Yes. All right. So how has everybody been? Uh, I got you guys. I think you guys will be seeing this on, on Wednesday, so you guys should have already gotten the uh, contest entry video. Oh god, there's a little bit of light, and we definitely don't want to do, we definitely don't want to be in there when we're putting these roofs down, otherwise, that's not what I want to do either. Really failing. Anyway, so you guys should probably have already seen the contest entry video. Um, if you haven't seen that, oh, really? See, that's, that's the whole stuff I'm talking about. That's the whole thing. Yeah, we can't do anything. Yeah, that's all right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you guys probably seen the, um, contest intro video so make sure if you haven't checked that out you go check it out all you got to do is just you know just like it says in the videos be subscribed to the channel uh, leave a comment on the video it doesn't matter what comment just any comment and then you guys will be good to go for your chance to win a copy of Ark Survival Evolved if you happen to be a uh, let's see how do we want to do this you can actually see that there's two snap points on this try really really hard it's very slight yeah you see it right there I think one is a little bit closer to the wall and one is not as close to the wall I don't think it's gonna make too much of a difference right here starting to look pretty pretty nice I think kind of want to do something like intersect the roofs right here but you know maybe sometime in the future we'll get something like that done um, like I was saying for your for your chance to win Ark Survival Evolve all you got to do is just follow the rules in the contest um, make sure you guys do that there's not there's not any reason to not do that if you don't already have Arc Survival Evolved. If you happen to be a fellow YouTuber, you know, regardless of your subscriber count or anything like that, uh, you do also have the chance of coming to play on the server with us if that's something that you want to do. Um, once I pick a winner out of the hat, if you're a YouTuber, I'll go check your channel out, or North Storm will go check your channel out, and then we'll make a determination from there on whether we want to throw you an invite to the server. All right, back to what we're doing, though. No. Um, I wanted to show you guys a little bit about what's going on up here. So we're getting a little bit more organized up here. Not, It's not a buttload more organized, but we have extended a little bit of stuff um, over here. For We have a couple more scorpions now, which is good. We're getting more scorpion eggs. Uh, turtle eggs are coming in. we got so many turtle eggs. And pterodon eggs. We got a buttload of these too. They're all up top right here. Here's a couple. Go ahead and take those. And we got 
Finally got a couple Sarcos. So we got one female Sarco, uh, which I did not want to get on. We got this actually tamed up today a little bit. I think me and North tamed it up. So we're actually starting to get Sarco eggs, which is pretty nice. Um, we actually have a couple, we don't have any extra Argents, which I definitely want to get taken care of. We have plenty of Argents to breed. Um, we did get a couple trikes today, so they're both female trikes. We're just missing a male trike to start getting trike eggs, which will be really nice. Um, let's see here, what else we got going on? Uh, we got the same stuff over here. Uh, terror birds laying all kinds of eggs. And then we got dillos. Uh, there's everything is starting to get mixed up around here because um, I think the I think what's happening is the, ooh, an overraptor egg. It's so nice when you get one of these overraptor eggs up here because we actually don't have uh, our overraptors mate boosted. The overraptors are just here to give us the egg laying boost. So this one doesn't have a mate even though it's a female, but occasionally it does drop an egg, which is really nice. Uh, yeah. That's fine. So we got a few, a couple females up here, and then one male right there. Um, so a lot of the stuff is getting really mixed up right here, and the reason for that is because I think the occasional wild uh, dillo comes wandering through here, and then I don't think everything is set to passive up here. I think everything is set to neutral, uh, so it causes all that stuff to want to fight the over or the the dillos that come wandering and roaming up here uh, which is not so much a problem it's not like any of them are going to die but what happens is they get all they get all mixed up like the raptors run around and they'll be everywhere and then you can see right here all the dillos are crazy there's a dodo where the dillo kind of pen is if you want to call it that yeah so we're kind of working on something to fix that and we're Still really haven't done anything with the greenhouse. Um, so there's, you got, and you guys let me know um, if you know what's going on with this. I'm not sure. Sometimes the uh, crop plots, they have water. Like they're, they're not irrigated, but they gain water. And I don't know what, what that's from or how that works. Um, so you can see these ones over here, they don't have any water. We want to grow crops, but as you, as you can see, we don't have any actual water being piped up here. So if that's, if that's like a, if it's like a thing that they automatically gain water, like what, uh, you know, whether it's like maybe it rains or something and it, it collects moisture inside the greenhouse, I don't know. You guys tell me if you guys know anything about that, or is that just... Am I just being crazy? Do they just get water uh, on their own? Or maybe somebody's up here trying to make me think I'm crazy or something like that. I don't know. You guys definitely let me know, though. So this is the real reason. And I'll take you guys inside the house real quick. We'll go upstairs. Put all these eggs away. As you can see, we got tons Tons of eggs. Look at this, man. 24. 24 Argent eggs. We got we got 31 Scorpion eggs, 100 Turtle eggs. We got a couple Spino eggs, Raptor eggs. We got so much Terra Bird eggs. Oh, man. We got so many eggs. It's not even funny. There's so many eggs. We're all over Raptor eggs. Yeah, so we do get, we do get uh, over Raptor eggs every once in a while, which is awesome. We just started getting the Sarco eggs. Got plenty of pterodon. Uh, I got a couple of anklo eggs, but that was just because I was up at the forge, and we have a couple of anklos up at the forge, and there just happened to be a couple of eggs up there. Uh, so this is the real reason that we kind of expanded uh, in here. So initially, I wanted, um, and I'm actually gonna. I, I don't know if I want to make this like a really really open area. I probably do. Let me just pick it up. These walls are uneven anyway. I'm probably going to have to pick them up. I don't know if I can get that one, but as you can see, that one's uneven. But what I wanted to do is kind of open this up in here so we would have a place 
um, for a couple additional things that I wanted to put in the house, which is uh, a little bit of jerky production. So I wanted to get some preserving bins uh, kind of lined up, probably right here in the corners, and then some uh, additional storage right here, which will probably be like um, like a vault or like one of the one of the medium vaults or maybe even one of the robust chests that we have down in the storage room. So we wanted, I wanted to do that so we can get a little bit of jerky production going on. I'm going to use this area right here for, um, I hope I'm going to use this area. I wanted to use it for the, in, what is it called? Let's see here. Uh, no. Industrial. Let's see here. Cooking. No. Uh, it's probably like it's actually it's probably a fabricator recipe. That's what I'm thinking. Let's look here. Structures cooking. Yeah. So the industrial cooker. That's what I wanted to uh, kind of put right over in here. I think will be a good place. The only issue that I have with that is that kind of I definitely have to pipe water into it. Um, and it may be easier to actually put the industrial cooker somewhere like right here if it will fit. I'm not sure if it will. I'm not even sure how, I've never had an industrial cooker so I'm not even sure if it like, does do you put some pipes down and it snaps to pipes? Or what is the deal with it? If you guys know, you just let me know uh, before I actually build it and waste all the materials because you definitely can't pick that up. And the other thing we did is we went ahead and expanded the storage room. So the storage room is like this now and I haven't done and yeah sorry about all this right here there's really not a whole lot that I can do about this the corrected structures mod allows me to kind of place some structures a little bit further into uh, the terrain which is why it's like that but I definitely wanted it to be symmetrical and I didn't want to um, I didn't want to sacrifice a lot of space. So pretty much what's going to happen is, and I'll get all the metal ceilings put in here and all that kind of stuff. There's going to be these catwalks. They're going to go straight straight across here and then they're going to go um, out this way and they're going to kind of wrap around the wall for all the storage. So we're going to have a lot more of these robust chests than we actually anticipated. And that's going to be up to something that um, we look into in the future. But anyway, yeah, that, that's that's really all I have for you guys today. We actually got a lot done uh, today, even though it didn't look like it. I just kind of came prepped a little bit instead of my normal not prep at all. I appreciate all you guys' support. Make sure you check out the other Creative Misfits, uh, especially Northstorm, uh, BBC, as well as Cody. Check all them out. And uh, if you like what you see, then definitely subscribe to their channel as well because they definitely produce a lot of really good content. And I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a large, large prank war on the server right now. Nobody knows it just yet, but we are gonna get involved because it's getting out of hand. We're gonna get involved. And some people are gonna get pranked. Pranked, guys, yeah. And they're gonna be the best pranks that have happened on the server. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Every single person will get pranked. And trust me, I will not get pranked because no one will ever find us. Anyway, thanks for all your guys' support. I hope to see you guys next time. And make sure you enter the contest for your chance to and for your chance to win a copy of Ark Survival Evolved. I'll see you guys on the battlefield next time.